Hello you guys, how are you? I hope you're staying healthy out there. So today I'm excited as always because I'm going to chat to you about drugstore products that I've used that are supposed to be for dry, itchy, sensitive skin. You know, like an eczema type skin. That's what these products say that they can do and fix. So can they? What did the Joni think of them? Listen up and you'll find out whether I'm going to give them a thumbs up or a thumbs down. What I'm hoping for you is you'll get information in this video that's going to help you if you've got dry skin anywhere on your body. That's it. My hope is that it helps you. But before I go on, my name is Joni. Welcome to my channel, Joni Loves. Please could you hit that subscribe button and that bell. Trying hard to grow my channel and every little bit helps, so thank you for that. So here we go. What you need to know about dry, itchy skin is an issue with your outside protective barrier. Your outside barrier that you produce naturally yourself is made up with your own natural moisturising factors and minerals and things to keep away infection bacteria from attacking your skin, right? That's what it's there for. It's like your shield, your protective barrier. Now, if you've got dry skin, if it's itchy, it's definitely been compromised in some way through something that you've used i.e. soap, you know, something that's stripping your own natural oils. So I've talked about that in my last video about eczema and it's the same thing. You've got to think about what you're using that is maybe drying your skin out. So let's chat about these products and see what I thought of them. The first one up is the Eucerin, a very well-known name, Eucerin um, Urea Repair. It sounds funny that Urea, doesn't it? Because it is pee-pee. Um, well it's in pee, pee but it's also in your body naturally, you naturally produce it and it's moisturising, just thought I'd pop that one in there. This is a um, plus body wash, 15 quid, it's got four and a half star reviews online and I don't just get that from the Eucerin website, I never really go to the website that people use that you buy this from, I go to other websites to see what everyone's saying about it, so it has got four and a half stars so people do like it. So what is it? It's a body wash for gently cleanses very dry skin, okay? Um, I'm going to let you see what it looks like, a gel, okay? And foams up a little bit. Okay, can you see that? Actually, I've got to say, I thought it was okay using this product. I quite liked using it. I used it in my shower and I, I thought it was quite nice to use. I did, and when you're using it, it really feels, it doesn't feel drying, so it's not like using a harsh soap or a shower gel that, you know, could be definitely drying your skin up. This didn't do that at all. So it is for people, it says, for eczema, dry and psoriasis prone skin. They're saying this, this is their marketing stuff, and it cleanses and moisturises at the same time. Now, I did think that it did cleanse the skin, and it did feel soft when you done that, right? When you pat yourself dry, your skin did feel good. So I did like that about it. What's it get in it? Okay, so it's all about, as you know, for me, it's all about the ingredients. And it's got sorbitol, number two ingredient, which is similar to glycerin. And glycerin is a ding ding. It's a humectant hydrator. So that's cool. Glycerin is number three ingredient. Number five, sodium lactate, which is lactic acid salt, which is hydrating. You know about lactic acid? Um, lactic acid is, is in milky bubble baths. Cleopatra was famous for having milk baths to keep her skin hydrated and soft, right? So that's what lactic acid tells you, that it's hydrating. And number six ingredient is urea, which is hydrating and a natural moisturising factor in the body. You already produce it naturally. It's got castor oil in it, number nine, which is hydrating. So, and it's got mild cleanser. So this product is exactly what it says, I think. It does leave the skin soft, definitely moisturises the skin and it doesn't use stripping um, cleansers to cleanse the skin. So there you go. I thought it was okay. The pros about it is it's an expensive 15 quid for this bottle and it'll last for ages, I felt, and you don't need a lot of it. The cons against it is not cruelty free, okay? If that doesn't bother you, I think this is worth trying, okay? So the next is another Eucerin product, Ato Control. Ato stands for atopic because you know, I talked about this, but eczema, um, the other name for eczema, or the most common form of eczema is atopic eczema, right? And that's where that word comes from, atopic, I think, right? So this is 16 quid, and this is a control lotion. Helps to soothe dry, 
itchy and irritated skin and it's got here what it's got in it lico cacon <laughs> which is licorice root extract right why can they not just put that they've got to put these all the proper names and it's got ceramides in it and you know i do love a ceramide because i like cerave so here we go this is this product and um and it soothes itchy skin and prolongs the period between flare-ups so they're really pushing this specifically for eczema okay now i'm going to tell you right away the top 11 ingredients in this they are great they're moisturizing this has got four and a half star reviews online pretty good so it's got glycerin number two it's got liquid paraffin number three that's paraffinium liquidum that's liquid paraffin it's hydrating and it's got vitis vinifera seed oil when you see that it's grape seed oil and i'm a fan of grape seed oil then it's got and i'm not good at saying this onothera biennis oil which is evening primrose oil so that is hydrating and antioxidant really good what's it got next it's got peg when you see that peg7 hydrogenated castor oil it's hydrating and dimethicone i do like a dimethicone product i do our ingredient it is hydrating and it prevents chill trans epidermal water loss which is great and then it's got licorice root extract which is glycerhiza in flata root extract and they called it licolone it is a soothing antioxidant and it's anti-aging it really is licorice root extract is really well known for that being anti-inflammatory skin soothing from the chinese licorice plant yep it's really really good i like it i do and great for neutralizing free radicals as we know it's antioxidant and it helps protect the epidermal layers from sun induced effects so in it which is number 10 ceramide np which is hydrating moisturizing and then number 11 is vitamin e vitamin e is okay it's an okay what do i think about it? i think that the ingredients are quite good a wee bit old-fashioned yes a wee bit old-fashioned but quite good and that's it what can i tell you about it though and here's the thing i'm going to let you see what i thought about it and maybe you'll get the idea that's just a blob you would maybe put that on your lower legs wouldn't you anyway i did put it on my legs and my arms because i really like to try a product and i think i've got to give you the real answer here but oh my god Oh, I, I wasn't keen on it. No, very shiny and sticky. Now, this is just personal stuff, okay? You might try this and think differently. I didn't like that. It feels very waxy, sticky. I didn't like the texture of it. I think it's quite, as I said, an old-fashioned sort of texture on it. Um, so, it, really, I'm going to leave it up to you. I found it ages to really absorb into skin, right? I didn't find that, you know even if I just put on a little. But I have to say, for some people with really dry skin, they will find this really works. Because it's like that, it really does protect your own, you know, skin from any water loss or you losing your own moisture. So people will think this is good, they will. So I'm not going to knock it down. The pros against it for it is it's cheap. It's 16 quid and again, this will last for quite a while. But a wee bit old fashioned for me, the formula. I didn't like the stickiness. If you won't mind that, um, worth a try, worth a go. What do you think so far? Let me know in the comments below if there's something that you're using for your dry skin that you think is really good, okay? Do that. It's always good to share knowledge. So the next one is E45. You know, E45's been going for donkey's years and there is E45 products that we all have tried. E45, this is our bath oil. I was really interested in this because as you know, I do like to put on, before I go into my bath, I usually apply just any baby oil on my skin before I go in because I do not want to have dry skin as an issue. And this idea was quite good in Molly bath oil, I thought, Matt. I'm not going to put on my usual baby oil. I'm just going to go in and feel what this feels like. And it felt nice. So this has got four and a half star reviews online. It's only nine quid. I like this. It moisturizes dry skin by retaining the skin's natural moisture. Leaves your skin moisturized after bathing. And it did. Gently cleanse the skin so you don't need to use soap. So what's it got in it? Liquid paraffin mineral oil. People have different ideas about this liquid paraffin mineral oil stuff. They think because, you know, 
it comes from a byproduct of the petroleum industry. They think it must be crap, but it's not when it, it's made into the grade, the cosmetics grade, it's not crap. And I don't mind it at all, liquid paraffin. I really don't, but I know that some people out there will be thinking it's mineral oil, Joan, but it never aggravates me that um, the mineral oil doesn't aggravate my skin and I'm okay with it. It's also got cetyl dimethicone in it, which as you know, is a skin protector. I do like dimethicone. It prevents your own water loss. And so for me, this is okay. This has got cheap ingredients in it. This doesn't cost a lot to make. That's my one thing about this. These products so far, they don't cost a lot. The ingredients aren't expensive to manufacture. They're not. Um, so the pros of it, soap free, yes, perfume free, tick, inexpensive, mm -hmm. cons, it's not cruelty free. Next up is their E45 moisturising lotion. Again, I'm going to show you this. Um, it's quite milky and um, absorbs into skin really well. You know, I quite liked it. I really did. Quite light on the skin. Yep, I did. So four and a half star reviews online. This one, the moisturising lotion, 24 hour moisturisation and clinically proven. I hate when they put this dermatologically tested. First ingredient in it, water, always water's in first. And then second is petrolatum, aka Vaseline, petroleum jelly. And I am a fan of Vaseline. I like that stuff, I do, because it prevents chill, your own, losing your own moisture. So that is the second ingredient. Then it's got isopropyl palmitate which is an emollient then it's got liquid paraffin paraffinium liquidum hydration and then it's got another emollient in it glycerol sterate and then to tier 20 which is a fatty alcohol that's okay number seven ingredient is lanolin which is for hydration this is what stops this um, from being cruelty free because it's got lanolin lanolin we get from sheep but when i was younger I had a lot of clients that were taking allergic reactions to products that were high in lanolin. And I know Johnson's Baby Lotion was one of those. People were really sold into using Johnson's Baby Lotion as a makeup remover years ago. And I had lots of clients coming to me with their faces bright pink and I made them stop using it. And I always had a thought that it was the lanolin that was in it that was causing this. Um, but it's number seven ingredient in here. Um, so I'm still not sure that it would aggravate some people, but maybe number seven ingredient down the line, it sounds okay, but nah, I'm just saying that it's worth a thought if you've ever had lanolin as an issue in the past. What I hate about this is it's got parabens in it, ethyl paraben, methyl paraben. I just don't like those preservatives. And I've talked about that before, the link to breast cancer, proven or unproven. I've read a lot of research on it, but you know, I prefer paraben free, Personally, that's what has annoyed me about E45. I think it's old fashioned again. The mixture is old fashioned. What is the pros about it? It's cheap and it's perfume free. Cons, it's not cruelty free. It's not vegan because of the lanolin and it's got the parabens. But I'm going to say it was absorbed quite easy into my skin, but there's too many wee things here that have annoyed me about this E45. And I'm going to give this a thumbs down. So I hope this is interesting to you because the last one I'm going to talk about is this one here, Child's Farm. I hadn't really tried this before. And I saw it on an interview on TV where a mum was talking about her little girl. She was on Good Morning Britain or something like that. One of the morning shows over here in the UK a few years ago. And she was talking about this as the only product that helped her daughter's eczema. Her daughter had horrific eczema and for a long, long time. And this was the only product she believed worked with her daughter. And they had a doctor on this program at the time when she was getting interviewed about it. And he didn't really say much about this. It just showed me when I listened to this that really, if you find a product that works for you, Fantastic. So this is Child's Farm Moisturiser, cruelty free and vegan. And this is £5.63, a lot cheaper. I got all of these in Boots, the chemist over here. And um, so this is drugstore too, it's cheap. This is a grapefruit and tea tree organic and it's got 4.9 star reviews online. So what it's got in it, and there's 10 ingredients here. It's got coconut oil and glycerin at the beginning number two ingredient. It's got glycerin, number four ingredient. Then it's got cetyl alcohol, which is a good fatty alcohol hydrating, number five. 
and I'm looking at all these and it's got shea butter at number nine and then cocoa butter number 10. The top 10 ingredients are pretty good in this. Always, I'm going to show you what it's like and you'll see it's a bit thicker than the milky ones. However, when I'm saying that it's a bit thicker, it really did absorb quite easily into skin and I quite like this. I really did. Now, and I'm saying that the smell, I did like this. Now, you know, I'm always funny about the scents and things and perfume being added. And there is perfume in this. So there's fragrance in this, which was surprising because this is the one this mum was talking about that really worked with her daughter with the sense of skin. But it really smells. I like it. It does smell. You can smell the grapefruit. And I do like the smell of grapefruit in this. I quite like this. So... There you go, it absorbed really nicely into skin. It feels moisturised, like soft and supple, okay? What's bad about it, it's got perfume in it, right? And a few essential oils that are thought to be bad for sensitive skin. But they're right at the bottom. The perfume is number 12, which isn't great, certainly. And the other ones are right at the bottom. So for me, I would, you know, go past that and say, this is worth a try, right? It's got a lovely smell. I really liked it. And because it's organic, and listen to this, all child's farm products are made with ethically sourced, naturally derived ingredients. I like the whole thing behind this company. I did read up about them on their on their website and they give back a lot. So check out the website for that. So this is going to be my star today. The Child's Farm Moisturiser, cruelty free and vegan at £5.63. What a good price that is. So I hope that was interesting for you today. There's other ones that we can talk about and I'll put a list of another few products down there that you should have a look at if you've got dry skin that really you want to sort it out. And if you've got any, please tell me in the comments that you think are good and that we should all have a go at, okay? This is all about us sharing stuff. Finally, one last word. Can I ask you, please, can you go and like my Instagram page? Joni loves, I'll put the link for that down below in the description too, but it would be really cool if you did that. I'm trying also to get my likes up on my Instagram page. I do quite funny reels that you might have a wee giggle at. Um, I'm all about teaching you about your skin and having a good time at the same time, if that's possible. <laughs> so take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon and look after everybody. Look after yourselves. Bye.